Well, it's over. This is supposed to be, um, the chat window. I'm, uh, uh Okay, this is worse. I'm Karis Euphenor. I am the last librarian of Alexandria. The stressing the last. The music doesn't work either. Oh my god. Hello, I'm Karis Euphenor. I am the last librarian of Alexandria. And everything is going. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, I solved it. I solved it. Hello, everyone. I'm Karis Euphenor. I've wasted 10 minutes of your time, and I intend to waste 10 more. Um, no, I intend to waste 30 more. I'm Karis Euphenor. I've got a few things to go through with you. Um, to tell you who I am, to tell you what all this is, to tell you why you should leave, probably. What is a VTuber? What is the Library of Alexandria? What? Who am I? And you may also have many other more important questions. Um, I'm going to try to speed through everything as fast as possible because if I do not and I get caught up in my yapping for the next six hours or something of my yapping, then uh, that increases the chances of um, the library computer crashing into a tunnel. Why am I... Okay. Hello, I'm Karis Euphrenor. If you look over here, I have some artifacts, some chiseled stone artifacts. It's a little concerning. It's like if you open up a book and it, in there it writes very intimate and embarrassing details about your life. And what was once perhaps a joke to you becomes deadly serious and puts you in a little bit of a crisis. But, you know, it's, that's okay. Because what's more important is now here it serves as an excellent introduction. Now, the Library of Alexandria was burned down. It was catastrophically destroyed. There are multiple, several versions of this story, and none of them have very, very concrete evidence to, to kind of disprove the other stories. And so even though in our collective common consciousness, we like to think that it burned down, and it, because of that, it's this big dramatic destruction, that is not necessarily the case. The point being, we don't know. I say we, um, in terms of you guys, because you are fools that exist in your little space-time continuums and whatnot. I, however, am free from these shackles of humankind as I exist as the last librarian of Alexander. Some people built a time machine and that caused a spatial temporal crash which ruined their lives, sure, whatever, but more importantly, it ruined mine. It's what I suspect to be, and this is a work in progress, I'm just still trying to figure it out from the pieces of the puzzle that I've been able to collect here. That's why I'm stuck. Um, that's why I'm in this predicament. I have spent too much time on the first slide. I need to move on. I need to go away. I mentioned that this predicament happened because of two plucky time travelers. Um, plucky is using the word loosely because I have many worse things to say. Uh, and time travel is a little bit of a difficult concept to grasp. There's a lot of interesting fictional representations of what time travel is. And I don't want to say they're all wrong. Time travel is linear across one timeline, all right? You don't have to say it with me now, but maybe say it in your head to get it across easier. It's linear across one timeline. And the reason I say that is because when we think of time travel, we often think of what is not actually time travel, but it's pseudo time travel. It's it's a multiversal time travel. We like to think of branching timelines, of, of alternate timelines, of many timelines branched together. And indeed, there's something very um, compelling about such an idea, but it's not true. It's not true because what it ultimately chalks up to is space travel. You're just going to a different area. You're not really time traveling in the sense that you're going back in the time that encapsulates you. You're going to a different time, you're going to a different realm, you know, multiverse. In short, that's fake news. So then you might ask, well, how do we deal with the grandfather paradox? Well, it's easy. If you go back in time and kill your grandfather, what happens? Here's the answer. You did not go back in time and kill your grandfather before he gave birth to you. To your parents and, and then justly to you. That didn't happen. 
And if you ask, well, what if that happened? What if this thing that doesn't make sense happened? Well, you're not going to get an answer that makes sense out of a question that doesn't make sense. It's a stupid question, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, which is my third mistake I've committed in this terrible dumpster fire. If you have any questions for me, and I know you do because I'm a very intelligent person. Uh, speaking of time travel, I wish I could go back 20 minutes earlier to pace myself to exist in such a library means one thing. I am beyond the boundaries. Time, space, and logic. Um, interpret that how you will. So who am I? I, as established earlier, am Karis Euphrenor. I'm Karis Euphrenor, and it's pronounced Karis Euphrenor. And if you get that wrong, it's your fault. Please don't call me Chair. I've seen Chair gifts being spammed at me on Twitter by people who are unfortunately the, the same people who give me engagement, so I can't even say rude things to them. I keep seeing Chair emojis and Chair gifts posted on everything I do, and it, it just haunts me. It's It makes me very uncomfortable because that's it makes it look like I misspelled the name, but I didn't. I promise you the name is Karis Euphrenor. And now that I've told you how to pronounce the name, I'll tell you why that's wrong and I'm wrong and we're all wrong because this name in its etymology is actually Greek. The last name Euphrenor actually should be pronounced Ephrenor. Um, I'm not going to do it that way because it's difficult and it's incorrect as we all are. And I think that's okay. I think it's okay to be wrong about something, as long as it's not too big of a deal. But I think it's okay. I'm a trapped VTuber in this library of Alexandria. I see these infinitely stretching walls around and I can't seem to leave. I can't seem to go anywhere. I can't seem to do anything substantial with my life. I'm a philosopher. And you may have several different reactions to this information. You may think that um, a philosopher, that's not real. That's not a real thing. It's not a real job. It stopped being a real job 2000 years ago. And you may be right. I'm not saying it is a job. I'm saying it is an identity. And here comes the other problem is what do you think of when you think of philosopher? Do you think Jaden Smith? Do you think DJ Cal? The reputation of this title has gone through the mud down into the ground. It's, it's awful. It's ruined. No one can say this unironically un anymore. Here's an example of a philosopher you should be thinking about. Not Jaden Smith. Please stop thinking about him. Please stop. Soren Kikigo. This guy is the goat. Every question you've ever had that needs answering can come to this person. Can trace its origins back to this great wonderful mind and he's he solved everything he really did um he's a little difficult to read he's a little difficult to read but 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 he did all of it speaking of peak here's an here's a list an non-exhaustive list of peak fiction which encompasses and is not included in limit which is not limited to um mob psycho 100 full metal alchemist brotherhood jojo's bizarre adventure uh yeah boy coming and Loki, the TV series. I will not take out questions on this list. This is an educational moment for you. Here's a list of peak gaming trademark, which includes the Stanley Parable, Hades, Elden Ring, Portal, and Fire Emblem Three Houses. I will not elaborate either too much on why it's peak. This is an edge again, again. This is an education. You may be familiar, or you may not be uh, familiar with the the movie. 8 Mile, featuring prominent rapper Eminem. He's pretty cool. And so what he does is he he tells the opponent as he goes first, he tells the opponent all of the terrible things about him that he knows the other person would say. And by taking that ammunition out of their hands, he decisively wins the rap battle. And so I've decided to employ this strategy here by giving you um, some incriminating evidence about myself. I realize time is ticking short, as it always. Here's a list of my of incriminating evidence about me. I have played at some point in my life, and I will not specify when, because I don't want um, I don't want it to be worse than it already is. I just realized the music is overlapping. Has it been overlapping all this time?
I'm going to cry. Hey everyone, this is Karis Euphronor, and we're here to talk about the in incriminating evidence against me using the example of 8 Mile, the movie. I've played 10 gacha games at the same time, and here's how it would go. And I, I, just, like, I understand there's the confusion. Why would you do that? That's so much time being wasted. Ah, but here's the thing, actually. The time I spent playing these 10 gacha games is actually less than the time I would spend playing one because here's how I would play here's how I would do it gacha games are designed in mind to to psychologically pull you to do to do certain things that you may regard as a waste of time in exchange for dopamine hits over and over again and really you're here for the dopamine hits right so what I did was I had 10 games at once going and I would play them intermittently. I wouldn't play all of them at the same time. And I wouldn't play all of them every day. But what I would do is I would log, I would log in and play them at certain intervals when they would give me the dopamine hits. When they stopped giving me the dopamine hits, I would just move on to the next thing. And I just kept doing this in a cycle. And so every time I, you know, I had to sink my precious time into a gacha, I would actually only be reaping the benefits and the rewards of the... Um, I am a genius like that's just these are undisputable facts of truth the other thing is I've ironically decided to get a degree in philosophy it's you can tell because I because in the time that I was supposed to go through um, 15 minutes of, of yapping I have expanded it to 30 if you have any questions here's my only answer don't do it live in a way that prioritizes your financial stability please do that that is so much better. You can read interesting philosophy in your own free time. That is like, you, you could just do that, please. They're not funding the library anymore. They hate me. They hate everyone associated with me. It's not good. It's just, it's not a good look. It will never be a good look. You're always going to get funny looks too. If you tell people you're like a, you're a philosophy major, it, it's, it's, it's. And the last thing I would like to put on my incriminating evidence list is that, that I'm a horrible actor. I am not good at pretending or acting or lying you have to understand this puts me at a weakness because if you ask me a question and it can be a terrible terrible question i will have to respond to it I, it will take me a little while and i might stutter and pause to say i will not answer this question but that stutter and pause says more than it needs to trying to put my best foot forward here um, I say as I had 15 minutes of technical error. You have to remind yourself, this person has no talent. This person cannot do anything. This person has nothing going for him because he did, because out of the many poor choices in his life, he, de he decided to be a philosophy major and a VTuber. Like, how can you compound? And because I have no talent, because I have no talent, try I am, there is a point to it. I'm getting to it, please. I have a point. I mean, you may look at this and think, wow, it's very impressive. Wow, this, this looks incredible. How did how did you get all of this done? And I will tell you the answer, okay? The answer is I didn't. Someone else did. My art team is very wonderful um, and very gracious um, due to the late payments. But, but my art team is very gracious and helpful and they have assembled my form as I appear before you now. We're back here and would like to show you my form starting from my entire body. Let's see. Can we get this right? Um, here. Here as I live and breathe and stand before you, I'm Karis Euphrenor, and I am the last librarian. Designed by a user that goes by c.c.mochi, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, on Instagram. That's there. That's the art team's art account, and so you can go pester them there. Start with these very simple, they're not very lavish, they're very quite humble, in fact, as I, as I am. Very humble. These protect my precious, soft, dandy feet from the harms that come from my frustration towards the world. Now, we can move up a little higher now. We have a little bit of a cape. It swings, it sways in the wind. It's very cool. So then we can see, I'm moving a little closer here. You can see my hands, um, they are quite dainty. And I have some occasional arm braces here to make sure that um, if a bookshelf ever falls on me, I will stand a fighting chance at survival. What? Somebody said something about my... I'm not zooming in on my cross. I didn't do any of this. I pl this would be plagiarism. If... If... This this would be... This would be plagiarism, really. If I didn't credit the, these people. I don't know anything about any of this work. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay, it wasn't me. The first of all, perhaps the most important, is 
the ability to think now you know when you're thinking it's a subjective experience it all goes it's all going inside in your head and that's you know how do you express that there's a there's a certain gap an explanatory gap how do you express that you are thinking about something and the things going on through your head well here's how you do it you rest your chin gently on your left arm and you just lean it over and and maybe you maybe you um what the kids call um uh, looks max is a book of parrot tricks of parrot tricks um what does that entail Ooh, a mystery to find out shortly uh don't worry we'll all be explained very soon uh sometimes i get anxious and and um and when i get anxious it's not a good look but it is i suppose represented here perhaps even too flatteringly there's there's not enough drool and spit and but but you know I, i'm never i i'm very calm and collected and um and not anxious i'm never anxious i'm very rational and i'm very good at i'm very good at being uh intelligent and soft-spoken and uh clever when i'm looking at you and occasionally when i'm looking at chat um, which is horrible. I really shouldn't be doing that. You guys are horrible people. Um, I should not have said that during my debut stream. You guys are wonderful. Please stay around. I may have to take my glasses off just to polish them a little bit, right? And that's the, I need to just kind of get it out of the way so I can just respond appropriately to what's happening. Cause oftentimes it's just it's like, Oh boy, what the hell? That's not real. Is it? I'm polishing my glasses. All right. Yep, it's real. And last but not least, I can derobe. I can unclothe myself. Are you ready? I'm gonna, it, it will probably make more sense in a macro perspective for me to derobe myself, just so you can kind of get a better view of um, of what that would look like in a more casual setting. Um, and it would look like this. Um, I'm seeing strip. That's now. I know I said that was the last but not least. But I lied, actually, because there is actually one more thing I would like to show you. Here it is. This is parrot. You and you may think, oh well, it doesn't look like a parrot. It's a, it's a, it looks more like a, a raven or a crow because of its color. Well, you're wrong because it looks at, it, because it may not look like it, but it acts like a parrot. It, all it does is it just like that, and that's all it does. All it does is it, it just it just reads what. Is being written and just says it quite frankly speaking parrot is not very let us in oh no here it is you have such a cute cat on your shoulder bro <sighs> it's about you omg you're not a you're not a cat it's yuri you can if Bob you said, audible gig win if you said um if you said he crow that would have made more speech. sense oh no Loudly crying face, loudly crying face, loudly crying face, loud. All right. All right. Um, that's all Among right. Us. Okay. Um, I am a cute cat. Stop. Don't read everything. Read the important Whoa, things. Bob's okay. manly. Uh, please type your messages and sorry. Type your questions now. This is now question time. Please Jake Hossie roll acrylic yogurt. Please um type your your questions and I will answer them rapid fire because I've Big already get wasted here. enough goddamn time in this debut. Uh, I want to uh -huh, get through uh -huh. all your questions right now. So oh, no. please put them in the chat and hope and hopefully. Loudly crying face. Parrot will. That's not a question. Hopefully parrot will Beautiful. read the questions. Parrot will read World's the questions. World's first. A a a. Is a, there just no a, questions? A, I think it's good. A, okay, a, please. A, I, I, th I just I a, think I think a, it would be good. A, a, um, a, a, if you a, have no questions, a, because a, that just means a, that a, I've done a good job a, explaining everything, a, and you now a, have a, a full and a, comprehensive a, understanding a, of. A, 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 please, a, could you? A, you have a full and in-depth comprehension a, a, of all a, of the information I presented to you. Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? What is your favorite toe? My favorite. Um, bro, my bro. favorite toe. What's is, going on? Um, have you heard the of the one, critically the acclaimed MMORPG? The critically acclaimed MMORPG. What's your favorite book World in the Warcraft? library? My favorite book in the library. My Good sprinkler question. goes Good like this. I have one question. What? Sickness unto death by Soren Kikigo. Please keep the That's jankness. My Please keep the jankness. When um, are you going to stream me, HSR? I'm not trying. I'm, Final this Fantasy is a professional 14, stream, and I'm a with very an expanded free trial, which you can play through. I am. 
God. I, <laughs> He's speed <laughs> running don't... question. Oh no, there's gonna be ad. You're gonna second least favorite food. Okay, I'm gonna put this behind something. The verb this is... is a bit behind, but can oh, you okay. please tell us what your favorite sandwich is? My favorite sandwich is. What do you eat in the probably library? Probably a grilled ham and cheese. Do you even eat? Grilling it myself makes it much easier because it's, I don't think um, this is working. I can my make man. a bunch at once, and it's much cheaper. I love this cat right now. Uh, the entirety of a realm reborn and the award-winning expansions Heaven's Ward and Stormblood up to okay, seventy. All right, you know what? Uh, I think we've. I think that's enough questions. I think um, we have had enough of a response from this you guys. This stream is sponsored by Genshin Impact. Oh God! No! Get out! Okay. There should be a filter, haha. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Do you even yeah. lift, bro? I got you! Go away! Go away, please! Okay. This is all like a beta test. I think, okay, the worst comes to worst, and this stream crashes or something, because it might, it really might. Um, I'm just going to re-debut, and I'm going to delete this, and I want, I'm going to need all of you to pretend like this didn't happen so i can just redo it and it'll be much professional and i won't spend 20 minutes bug fixing at the beginning of the broadcast and i'll actually be able to get my lines uh my, my delivery across for the information i needed you to receive and uh, it will all be good and i will not have to ever worry about um an embarrassing first impression ever again what is the practicality of asking questions when in reality most people just adopt a stance that is the most personally acceptable answer that's a great question uh from um from jeffrey I think that's something to bring back. In reality, and it's true, you're making a, a sort of a, a diagnostic point that most people adopt a stance that is a personally, si like socially acceptable. And I think that's necessary in some sense as a social lubrication. But in our attempts to fit in and in our insecurities to be around people and to be vulnerable and, and to express ourselves genuinely and honestly, we've, we then lean too far into this social lubrication and we get into opinions and views and thoughts and stances that aren't our own they're of people that have proven to be approved and loved and cherished by other people and at the end of the day that's what we want at the end of the day a lot of the insecurity and the angst and the anxiety comes from wanting to be approved of and this can come in the form of likes of viewership of whatever that takes the in the vtuber sphere but i think most importantly this is a universal thing this happens to everyone we want approval and in doing so, we adopt things that are not genuine, that are not, not our own. And we can kind of see the refractive results of this. Um, people give boring answers. People give popular answers. Not because that's what they believe in. And it's perfectly fine to believe in popular answers. And, and to believe in the type of answer that is widely and universally agreed upon by people. But when we get down to even just mundane things like opinions you have on certain media or um the state of anything really we tend to forget that when someone asks you a question oftentimes it does people ask you things and if they don't ask you enough questions i will i will do that i will ask you questions too and if when they ask you a question they don't want an answer that's a like a, a good answer or at least they shouldn't. If they do, then they're not they're not really asking a question. They're just they're just prompting a response from you that's agreeable. When someone really genuinely reaches out to ask you a question, they want to know about they want to know you. They want to get to know who you are. They want to get to know what you do and what you like and where your views are, where your what your what your opinion is on certain things. And that's really important because one, it's important to have those opinions and views, but two, it's important to just share them to let people know and have you know start debates and friendly banter you know and it all kind of comes from this genuine um response to again and it needs to be both ways a genuine question that comes out of it um so excellent question i think it's one of the most important questions ever actually so that was a really good question but yeah the point of it is in is in making this genuine connection between people if you don't you will be lost in this pseudo solipsism that you trap yourself in and trust me as a as as the librarian of alexandria i think i have it on some authority to speak on what a, um 
what isolation is and what it does to someone and how there are certain good things about it but at the end of the day um perhaps we we do need to be around people we may not think we do but we do thank you for the question is there a cure is there a magic cure to all the people who are TikTok brain rotted and this isn't uh an ivory tower perspective i'm i'm a victim of this because two slides ago i just explained how i used to play 10 gacha games at once <laughs> being challenged is fun and if you don't agree with that and if you want to be comfortable and you don't want difficult things to happen to you um is there anything i can do about that that's the question that is the question and well not to peel back the curtain too much as if i haven't already but giving you my vulnerabilities um that's what karis yukonor means to me please interpret that how you will um i'm not going to elaborate on that too much <laughs> thank you so much um i am karis yukonor the last librarian of alexandria and i bid you all at least temporarily and not for too long don't worry, I'm not bound by space and time. I bid you all farewell. Finally, God, this guy's been talking for so long. What the 